In your kitchen, when you start cooking these recipes, or even your own recipes, what you want to do is to make it easy on you. Before you start to cook, you want to do what's called mise en place. You want to have everything in place. Because then when you go do it, you're not reaching, you're not worrying about it, and it, it makes it easy for you to, to cook. So we're going to start out one of my dishes. I already have everything prepped and cut before we even go. So now once I go, I just take everything and we'll walk you through it and just, it's ready. So every dish, you do your prep first. You could do it early and have it in the fridge. And then when you go cook at nighttime, you take it out. And that's the hard part, like I said, is the prep. And that's it. Now we're ready to start cooking. The first recipe I'm going to share with you is mussels and clams in a San Francisco Chopino sauce. Now, now this sauce, I'm going to add a couple shrimp too. Now this sauce is a traditional bouillabaisse, Italian bouillabaisse. The French version is a clear one. The Italian version is going to be a red one. So the main thing about this dish what I'm going to teach you is these, the clams take a little longer to open up than the mussels do when we saute them. And if the mussels don't open, they're not good. So this one's starting to close. If they stay open, they're not good. So this is good. That's what I want to show you. I'm going to talk to you about oils and garlics, what to use, and sauteing and temperatures, how long it's going to take when, when it opens up, if I have to assist these to open and stuff like that, basically. So let's get started. All right, this is one of my favorite appetizers. If you like mussels, because it's a boy, it's a San Francisco Chopino is a seafood uh, soup. I'm making it as an appetizer. It's traditionally as an entree with king crab, Lobster, mussels, clams, vongole, calamari, sole. It's basically a, a, a seafood soup of everything. But I broke it down as an appetizer. We also serve it here as a dinner at the trattoria. And I, what I'm going to do is show you how easy it is. So you'll want to make this at home. Especially when we're going to use my homemade marinara and my homemade chicken soup. If you don't want to make your own homemade, you can buy a Rayo's store-bought marinara, or if you're a man packer close to me, we sell our marinara, which is amazing, and we sell our chicken soup. You could buy collagen and organic chicken soup, whatever. It's a low sodium, you might have to add a touch of salt. I'm not working with salts today because my marinara is every spice, salt, oregano, whatever, in there, garlic. I'm gonna double spice everything, but not the salt. The chicken stock I use, it's not low sodium, it's a lot of flavor. So I don't need to put salt, I have to be careful with that. So my pan's getting hot, and once again, it's about 50,000 BTUs. We're gonna start off by adding one clove of garlic and a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Now I'm gonna add my clams first, because these take the longest to open up. Then I'm gonna add my mussels, and if they don't open up, I'm gonna open them with a knife and help them along, but the mussels always open. And I'm gonna add the shrimp at the end, because the shrimp cook very, very fast. So once we're going to saute this, once the um, garlic starts to brown, we're going to add a little bit of butter. Now the trick behind this is the butter is going to get, is going to cool it down a little bit, cool the garlic down, stop it from burning. Another trick is is we're going to add some white wine. Then I'm going to add a little bit of parsley, a little bit of fennel seed. You could saute some fresh fennel in there. Then I'm going to pull it over here. Now, you can use fish stock or you can use vegetable stock. I'm using chicken stock. I don't use fish stock because this gives off so much flavor you don't need it. So I'm going to add some chicken stock. I'm going to add a little bit of marinara, about two ounces. I'm going to add about eight ounces of the chicken stock. I'm going to bring it back to a boil. See how the mussels are opening really fast and the clams didn't? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it. We're going to add the shrimp in right now, right on top. See that? Shrimp cook very fast. So we're going to cover this. We're going to let the mussels and clams open up. Now I'm going to look back. If the clams don't open, I'm going to help them out with this little knife. If you leave the clams long enough, they will open, but I don't want to overcook my shrimp. So, and the mussels open faster. So now I showed you a simple way to make this dish. Another way, you can add anything you want to it basically. Another way is uh, adding some celery and carrots and some fresh um, fennel. I use the fennel seed. I don't have the fresh fennel here today, but take your carrots and your celery. And what you want to do is we're going to cut them very small. 
if you're a real beginner and you want to use a slap chop in the beginning, one of those tools, you can buy one of those kitchen tools and then practice. I'm just going to take the, the celery and we're going to cut it like this. Right here I'm using a chef knife. This is really big. When you first start out, if it's too big, you could start with this. I usually have my wife use this because it's a lot lighter and she's worried about cutting herself. So what I, what I do is I use a chef knife. I cut it like that, basically. And then I'm going to cut it. You cut as big or as small as you want. This is the size that I would like to use. And when I first started out cutting, I would start out like this because I was nervous. And then as you get better, now I, I do it with my eyes closed, basically. Put my hand near it, and then my fingers, the, gui the knife guides my fingers back. And there's your celery. And now we're going to do our carrots. Same way, same thing, cut down. So now you have your celery and carrots, all right? And when I cook, I'm going to have the recipes available for you, but everything's by eye. So for that one portion that we did, as much or as little celery and carrots as you want. And we're going to add some diced white onion also. All right? And we already had our garlic in there, but if we didn't have our garlic in there, if we're starting out just like this, that dish, I would add one clove of garlic. So now you have a nice, beautiful saute. I would make the dish like this. It's a little more involved. That's easier. That's why I showed you both ways. Now you add your mussels right now. You add your clams. And you get that garlic brown like before. You add your butter, your wine, and you're good to go. And your chicken stock and all that. Let's see how this is doing while that's cooking. So now in the meantime I was doing that. Look how nice and ready your shrimp are. Your um, clams are open and your mussels are open. And this dish is ready to go. And you are all set. Now, this is what you want it to be. It's a seafood soup. So now I'm going to add just a little bit more parsley to the top. My marinara has everything, but we double spice it. A little bit more oregano, and even a touch more fennel seed, because I love fennel. The, the flavor of this is just literally amazing with that fennel. So now when these are open, that's ready, that's ready. This is all ready to go. And look how nice and perfectly cooked your shrimp are. Perfect timing when I throw them on top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this ready. I'll do what I did last time. Add, add your butter. Right here, now you see everything's cooked. Your garlic's brown. You add your butter, white wine around. And then you would have your, all your things to follow the steps from the other one before. So we're going to put that off to the side. And now we're going to plate this. I wouldn't recommend doing this at home. This is really hot. My fingers are kind of used to this from cooking over the years. Now, if it's too liquidy, let it sit on it for you and let it reduce. If you want, if it's uh, too thick, you add chicken stock. To me, I do this so often, so the amounts I put in, in the recipe I'm going to give you, I put in about uh, two ounces about of marinara and about four uh, ounces of the chicken stock or more. That ladle I'll have is a four ounce ladle. Pour it right on top, and that's your seafood soup. What you do is you toast up a couple pieces of terranova garlic, throw it right in there, nice fork, nice spoon. Eat the fish, drink the soup. Enjoy. This smells amazing. The fennel uh, really comes through and all the spices and everything. Uh, what I want to take you to take from this dish is uh, the timing on the shrimp and the clams and the mussels. My clams opened up because I put them first. If they don't open up, what you do is you grab your little knife and you pick them up and you guide it like this. If they don't open up right there and you force them open and they'll catch up. Uh, and your mussels. And just the two versions. The simpler version is good to start with. If you want to try the second version, you add this, the carrots and celery and onions, it'll definitely give you even more flavor. Both ways are great, just whichever one you like better. But the most important thing is mise en place. Having your onions ready, your parsley cut, your garlic minced. You could buy this under oil. We make our garlic minced and then we put it under oil because the oil preserves it. And if you cook a lot, Make a lot of garlic, put it in a jar and cover with oil and it'll stay in your fridge a long, long time. As long as the oil is above it. If the oil gets below it, it'll turn green and starts to go bad. But mise en place, having everything ready, and then this dish takes five minutes to make. It's just prepping it up until then. So now from that, I start with an appetizer. I want to move into uh, an entree, the entree dishes that um, we're going to replicate. So the first one we're going to do is chicken marsala.
vestito sta fa, tu vuoi vivere alla moda, ma se bevi whisky e soda, poi tu siente disturbato.